Hi, this is T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities. Tonight we're going to talk about how our new rooftop biogas system is helping us manage our kitchen. The first thing is we don't have any more kitchen garbage. Kitchen garbage is, of course, the smelly stuff that draws flies and makes garbage the disgusting thing that people think of it. But when you have a biogas system, that entire problem is eliminated. We're going to start over here with the compost bin. Before we had the biogas system, we would throw all our organic waste in the compost. But now, banana peels and, and lettuce they don't go in the compost anymore. It goes in the compost is mostly paper products and tea bags because all the organic food waste now will go in the blender along with all the food waste when we finish cooking. So let me take the blender here and pour some of this bread and tomatoes and all that kind of stuff into the blender. Broccoli. And then we're going to add our solar heated hot water because the biogas bacteria like warm water. It's free for us because the sun generates all of the hot water that we use in the house. We put it on the blender and blend it up just so that it's small enough that the bacteria can get, uh, can get a handle on it. So that's probably uh, pretty good for now. Maybe we shake it up a little bit more. Try it one more time just to get it unstuck. Okay. Now we can also add to this mix flower petals. These are rose petals from the garden. They're good food for the biogas, so they can go in here as well and can be blended up. And we take that mix out into the garden. and pour it into the biogas digester. And we can continue to grind some of this stuff up. We have a plunger that helps push it down. And it goes down into the bottom. What's happening is that all the food waste is going down a pipe and into the center of the digester. And what that does is feeds the bacteria. They're in the water here. When the bacteria are fed, what they produce as an output is they produce fertilizer water, which we use as the most nutritious way of giving fertilizer to our plants. So we don't need to buy soil or fertilizer anymore. We have the best compost tea in the world. That's one of the outputs. So even if we made no biogas at all, we have a great system because we take our kitchen garbage and turn it into a very good nutritious fertilizer for our rooftop garden. But if I open the tap here, then I can start producing biogas. And we see here that the tank is filled with gas. This is two days worth. See how it's floating there on the gas. And when I measure, I find that I've got approximately 44 centimeters. And that is a rise of about 20 centimeters over what it was without gas. That is going to give us enough biogas for probably about uh, 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes of cooking. Let's go see. So I turn the gas on, come on to the kitchen. And when I turn the tap, you start hearing the gas. And it lights to give a second for it to um, build up. One second here. There we go. Big flame. And so we have biogas. We'll start the timer going now. We'll start the stopwatch see how long we have and we can start cooking our vegetables on the biogas that we produced. So it's a very efficient system. Once again, all the kitchen garbage gets ground up with warm water, put in the biogas system which produces all of our nutritious fertilizer and creates the cooking gas 
that we can use in the kitchen. Because our kitchen formerly was using electric heating and that's very expensive and we don't also want to support the electric utilities which are using fossil fuels and nuclear power. So we're producing our own power right here at home and as you can see it's quite good. So for Solar Cities, I'm T.H. Culhane with our Kitchen Biogas Digester. Thanks.